I think that the more time you spend outside, out there in the real world, the more you'll realize there are so many amazing gifts to be received, if only we know where to look. This past winter, I created a habit of making medicinal teas out of ingredients I could find in the forest, and now that spring has come, I've been so excited to celebrate the turning of a new season. There are wild leeks that grow in this forest, and while I've harvested them before and was looking forward to being able to taste them again, there was something new that I set my sights on for this year. Birch sap. I've learned that drinking fresh birch water is a springtime health ritual among many parts of northern and eastern Europe, historically and still to this day, which I think is really awesome. It's full of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and electrolytes and sugars. It's just so good. It's a fresh, sweet tonic water that I could feel rejuvenating my tired body and mind and soul after a long winter as I drank it. It feels like an amazing gift. In this video, I'm going to show you a few different things. I'll share with you how I tapped the birch trees at the cottage with minimal tools and what I've been doing with the sap. And I'm going to show you how I harvest one of my favorite things about the forest in the spring, the wild leeks. And I'm going to use these ingredients to bake a loaf of sourdough wild leek birch sap bread. <laughs> Although by the time I have this video up, the window of opportunity for harvesting these pieces of the forest will be closed, but you can at least carry this knowledge with you into future years if you want to do it yourself too. I think that this is my favorite part of the whole forest because right in front of me here these there's just these valleys that go down and these big rock faces that are part of the Canadian Shield and they're all covered in moss and there's these two little streams that come down the rocks and meet and create this kind of creek that goes down through the valley into the swamp and in the springtime and in the fall there's this little waterfall that comes down the rocks because there's actually a water source at the very top of the rocks, um, kind of like a little mountain and it comes down, makes this beautiful little waterfall and sitting here right now I can see all of the patches of leeks, like they're everywhere, I can see them. Like so far into the distance there's just literally leeks as far as the eye can see and it is so exciting, It's I'm so excited to show you. So yeah, let's go. There's Tempe, <laughs> always in the background pitter-pattering with his little paws. Keep going! Hello! <laughs> Hi! Oh. <laughs> like I said, I harvested birch sap for the first time this year, which was amazing, it was so good. I tapped the birch trees before the wild leeks were even ready and tasting the birch sap after this past winter was just like a breath of life. It's, I could feel it rejuvenating me as I drank it. Mm. 
I don't even know what to say other than that. It. Hello. What made me want to tap the birch trees and try the sap was my boyfriend's family who I spend a lot of time with. They're from Latvia, his grandparents are from Latvia, so I've been getting very immersed in their culture over the years and feeling like it's becoming a part of myself because the Latvian culture is very nature-based, very down-to-earth. There's still a lot of aspects of their modern culture that are very pagan, <laughs> so I love it. I think it's awesome. Yeah, like I said, just having a drink of the birch sap after this past winter in particular felt like a gift to be able to experience that and to put it into my body and to know that it's working its magic in my nice beautiful body that carries me through very difficult times. I sat by the lake and I saw a beaver crossing the lake as I was sitting there drinking it. One of the best ways you can eat wild leeks, I think it's just raw, I just, I snack, it's kind of like picking berries where I just snack on them as I go, I just eat the leaves. These are less spicy than the ones at the cottage. Mm. Have you tried? Mm -hmm. If you don't know what wild leeks are, they're an edible wild plant that grows in temperate hardwood forests in North America and they kind of have this garlicky green onion flavor so they're very very good um, they grow everywhere here so I'm just looking at a whole valley right now that's just covered in leeks so there are a few different ways you can harvest leeks you can just take the leaves and leave everything that lives underground underground or you can take the bulb as well now where I have seen some controversy within foraging groups are people who on occasion will harvest leeks and rip up all the roots which is what you don't want to do because that's kind of how the patch spreads and grows if you want the bulb how you can get those is um, don't do what I did don't use your finger because if you use your finger, you will be jamming your fingers into the dirt, which is fine, except for when you get like an inch of dirt pushed under your nail 
and it breaks your nail in half and it hurts a lot. So be smart, not like me, and use some sort of tool if you're gonna go for the bulb so that you can dig it down along the side of the chute. And what you wanna do is get to the base of the bulb where the roots are attached and just kind of snap it off the roots. If you do pull up some roots, sometimes a few will come up, just snap them off the bulb and put them back in the ground and cover it up with dirt. Now a general rule for sustainability is harvesting anywhere from 5 to 10% of any given patch or area and that's a lot of what I've seen online. Anytime I pick a bulb I always cover the ground back up so that I'm not leaving a mark of where I was. What I do with the leeks is like I said I eat a lot of them raw and I keep a bag in my fridge fresh to use for salads and sandwiches and any other kind of dish really. They're really really versatile. You can pretty much put them in anything. You can make a leek pesto, you can just chop them up in fruit freeze them. You can dry the leaves and put them into a powder that you can add to dishes as you cook them. There really are so many things you can do with leeks. That's just a few of the things that I've done. Oh, and my boyfriend's mom makes leek butter, which is very good. For those of you who are actually interested in sourdough, I am using a true mother starter. It's a big jar of brown sludge that smells like death. Oh, you got the mother dough. <sighs> oh. The starter that I have is from my boyfriend's late grandmother. So she had a rye bread starter that is at least 15, 20 years old and it's been in the fridge for 15 years. So I revived it not too long ago. I've been baking with it. It's amazing. It's full of air bubbles and it tastes so good. So yeah, I'm just really excited to use that and to show you guys that. So. I don't know if you can see her in there, but there is Mrs. Duck. She has her nest on the rocks underneath those dead branches, but she's obviously still on eggs because uh, I don't ever see her leave the nest, but she's been there for a few weeks now, so I'm waiting for little ducklings to appear. She looks very serene. As always, thank you for watching. Um, it's really crazy that people are starting to come here to watch my videos of their own volition. Um, there's not many of you, but thank you, whoever you are, for watching this. I hope you're enjoying the springtime as much as I am. Get outside if you haven't... Okay, gosh, go.
get outside if you haven't been going outside enough lately. Um, I know I don't when I'm at home, I'm guilty of that. If you're in a situation where you're kind of stuck at home and it's really getting to you, get outside even if your backyard is like two square feet. Even that is better than nothing. Get outside, breathe some fresh air, see the sun, see the birds and the plants and the the moss that grows on rocks and lichens that grow on the sidewalk and stuff. Touch them, look at them. Just do something other than sit inside and wonder why you feel like shit. Thank you, I love you. Bye.